So one thing I want to make you folks aware of is uh, StatCrunch, which is available through um, my math lab. Okay, so let's suppose I'm looking at, at this exercise in 3.5 number 9 about the age of a president at inauguration. And they want me to find the five number summary, make a box plot, and then of course then I got to talk about the shape. Well, stat crunch won't do the shape, but it'll do everything else for us. Um, so the way you access this and see if they get the data disk symbol there, that's, that usually means the data is in stat crunch also. So what you do is go go to my math lab on this main menu and then click on the stat crunch button. It'll pop up, do a new pop up, and then this is chapter three and then you just scroll down to find the problem you want three five not point nine it'll load the data into stack crunch and then since they want us to find the five number summary I'm gonna go to stats and I'm dealing with the numbers and columns you gotta select it and then you get to tell it what you want well I want the five number summary so I'm gonna unselect everything and what it does, it adds things in the order you select them. So I'm going to click on minimum first, and then Q1. So notice the way it's putting them in Q1. And then median, and Q3, and then the maximum. Now, when I click the calculate, it's giving me the five number summary right there in order, which is nice. Okay. So I could copy that down or write it down. And then to get the box plot. You go to graphics, and box plot has its own special choice. Uh, when we do scatter plots in chapter four, that that has another option. You'll have to select two columns of data there. So, box plots, select the column. Uh, I want to use that outlier test to check for outliers. I can. I like my box plots horizontally, but it doesn't matter. Next, and then you can give it titles if you want. Uh, I think I will. I'm going to be lazy and just do age age of presidents. And we don't really have a Y. So then you create the graph, and there it is. And you can capture this now. I don't think it's been past years. I haven't checked it lately, um, how to access these. But what I do to get it so you can put it on Moodle, but what I'll do is if you're on a Macintosh, you can press uh, I think it's Shift Apple. That's it. It's Shift Command Four, and you'll get a set of crosshairs where you can draw a box around what you want, and then it'll dump a screenshot onto your desktop, which you then can upload on on a Windows Seven machine like what I'm on now. What you can do is you can open up. You know, let me start this again. You can do under your Start menu, you can do the snipping tool, and that gives you the crosshairs here, and you can just highlight what you want. And copies it, and you can either either copy that to your your uh, to your um, clipboard memory, or you can save the file. And we'll save the file. I think I did this once already. Yeah. Okay. So then I can close this window. I can go back to Moodle. So. Sample, well, let me be model as well. So what is this, page 169, number 9. And then you can see the five number summary is you know, whatever, whatever. But then insert the picture. You can do it a couple of ways right here. Click to add. Find that box plot. Let it upload and post. And there it is. It's that easy. Okay, Moodle one wouldn't let us do this, so this is a nice improvement for Moodle two. You you could you couldn't as a student upload images, which is great. Okay, hope that helps.